Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. We are going to, in this video, check out the migration. We did the settings in the last one, I believe. Now it's time to see what's under migration tabs. Migration is more like um, uh, how Office 365 evolved is like first you had the desktop apps and then came the like very very long time ago you had to install apps on each desktop then came the uh, active directory thing where you know users were be able to use different computers then they said that why don't make the uh, then they, they were like uh, they needed email exchange like exchange and sharepoint and all this they were used to be softwares that you can run natively like just like you install windows operating system you can install exchange and have your email server you could exchange your sharepoint and have your web server um, so then these things are evolved that why we just host everything on the cloud and user login from anywhere access the same device without the need of uh, having to install it on on their machine i actually saw bill gates interview when he had this vision a few many years ago i i heard him for the first time they were interviewing and they said what what you're so excited about what's next and then he was talked about that i want everything to uh, just like we download a file i want the programs to be downloaded from the server and just work on it so that program never gets installed on your computer and at that time i was surprised at the idea because uh, uh, bill gates was in usa but i was not and in my country it was like uh, five, <laughs> you are on five kilobyte uh, dial-up modem so that was my um, surprise like how it will be but then i said with the events of technology and everything and then i moved to usa but the, back home uh, the internet is pretty stable now like uh, different companies ventured and it is feasible over there as well now like i don't think so if they have dial-up anymore over there uh, and though in 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 uh, America I know <laughs> there there are areas where only dial-up is the primary uh, mode of people's going online, but they are like very remote locations. All right, so let's go to the migration. So migration comes into play when all these companies for years they had their <coughs> uh, setups uh, on their own servers in this case it would be SharePoint but exchange as well in exchange there was a feature <coughs> as well so basically if you had your site natively on your servers on, a, on SharePoint and now it's time <coughs> that you have this not you as an admin but the company has decided hey we have to move everyone to the cloud uh, that is not only the user but all the data and we're gonna <coughs> simply shut down the local instances and move everything to the cloud they could be if they want to it's i saw it in i don't teams or yammer or exchange there was a hybrid thing like you could uh, continue to use you could like uh, use part of the office 365 services and part of the your native local thing uh, that's called hybrid i haven't seen it over here so I'm not sure if it's uh, the case but let's see the migration migration basically simply moves uh, just like uh, we ran the Azure ready connect so it synced everything basically moved our users copied them to uh, uh, office 365 migration means simply that you get the client you run it and uh, content to SharePoint or OneDrive so whatever content you have I think this is most more likely for the file share content so whatever file you are sharing uh, on your local file server you get with this you can move them everything to the one drive this is the task you could add a task 
and its method single source and destination bulk migration so basically again csv or json file i um, i'm gonna see what json is i cannot search now import from file share to sharepoint one drive so if like you have a file server or you have a like a big hard disk you can share it through full path name of the file server so you have to go something like uh, file server name and blah 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 and you click next so <clears throat> basically you will be provided or in that company you would know what the uh, thing is uh, as file server addresses like this one is add client you want so you, so you don't download the client you set it up and then you clear out the clients from here and through here you make the move let's go to the desktop tool So if you had the ser uh, SharePoint Server 2012 or 2013, you can use this tool to move your sites or local internet to Office 365. <coughs> and best for whatever file share information for a single computer or virtual machine, migrating content to SharePoint Online, OneDrive, and Teams. So basically, <coughs> sites would go to SharePoint if they have like all the files if you have like other files bigger they go to onedrive and teams as well so you can download the tool here cloud content migration so migrate cloud content to office 365 this is basically <coughs> if you have files on other location like i know dropbox had like 50 gb and it was back a uh, big thing you have uh, something saved in amazon uh, box yes box is a big company as well and uh, this is the first time i'm reading about this one ignite and google drive very famous <coughs> so basically what they're saying you with this thing you could i think yeah a mover acquired by microsoft in october 21st mover.io cloud file migrate now use in your web browser so what i think is it's like you give it cre your credentials and it will move everything for you unfortunately yet that's the case i never signed up with them on or neither do i have any account on either of these <coughs> um services i might have some uh something on google drive and that's not because i saved it intentionally but because i read that uh, google sh uh, drive is also used to share all the files that you receive in your emails so in the pictures and text documents everything gets shared and this could be true <coughs> uh, in this case as well so that's why I'm saying so I should check uh, I, I will check later let's check this theory out I don't uh, yeah I have a Google account right here so Google Drive <coughs> personal go to google drive and there's a business mode there was a business mode. yep so yes i emailed the email the these thing so this is uh this is a book i bought for my son and this is the yep i emailed this one so i was right uh whatever you uh, google drive is also used to share your whatever you share in your emails like send and receive they are saved in the google drive so this is the um, i wanted to show you this if you can see business on the right side so when you click it you need to provide your business address i'm not going there so this was it in the migration there are more feature let's see what they are uh, i'm no for more feature i'm gonna let's uh, wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment share subscribe and i will see you in the next video on the note that when i said that in the previous video i said that uh, i will go with the onedrive because they kind of look similar see my assumptions are always uh, true to some extent or 100 percent onedrive <laughs> admin center they are actually providing a link right here i didn't know i just noticed all right, so 
see you in the next video